What's going on people, Patrick here, and I wanted to let you know about my P365 from SIG. Alright, so today I took it to the range finally, and I put about 200 rounds through it. And I used uh, the cheap ammo from Walmart, you know, the Winchester White Box, the Federal 115 uh, grain uh, brass ammo, and I also put uh, Federal HST 147 grain, and I didn't have one issue whatsoever with any of it. Right, so I have to say good job there on SIG. I didn't have any problems with the slide failing to lock open. I didn't have any problems with like primer strikes. So, you know, gun ran smooth. No issues whatsoever. Alright, so, that being said, the gun is clear. No mag. Alright. Now, I'll tell you what you get with this. You get a flush mag. 10 round magazine. Alright, let's see. Mag is empty. And I just barely catch my pinky on there right, when you're shooting. Now, you also get another 10 round magazine with the pinky extension. And you can see it poured it down a little bit. I'll try to bring this in a little closer for you. So now I get a pretty good grip on it. I picked up the plus two mag. So it's got a little bit longer of an extension. So it's 12 rounds now. You can see that. All right. Used all three mags. Now one issue with any of them. Now this gun also comes with the SIG X-ray sights. All right. So you get the trinium in the front here and the trinium in the back. Now the one in the front is a bigger green dot. All right. And the one in the back is almost like a, a white colored uh, trinium dots right um, these are a little bit harder to see in the daytime this thing lights up like crazy at night you can see all of them because of the trinium again no issues whatsoever um, the only thing I could say is I'm not used to it yet and that being said it's you know it's a 3.1 inch barrel and uh, you know sometimes you know it gets a little bit snappy so a little bit of practice to take care of that and uh, you know, I'm used to shooting, you know, uh, three point six inch barrels, four inch barrels, four and a quarter. You know, uh, I'm shooting this today again. I put two hundred rounds to it. You know, I was still doing chest shots, all two hundred. You know, but my grouping was, you know, not as perfect as it usually is with the larger handguns. So it's just going to take some practice to get used to it and get used to the snappiness on it. Now, supposedly Sig has uh, some new ammo that came out. Uh, specifically for this, it's supposed to be a little bit less recoil, so it won't be as snappy. Um, you know, one of these days I'll try to get my hand on some of them and give that a shot and let you know how that is. You know, if Sig wants to send me something to try out, I'm glad they accept it. Thank you very much, Sig. If you want to do that? Um, <clears throat> other than that, though, what I want to do is show you one little quirk is when you peel strip it. Alright, so I'm gonna break this down for you. Alright, and it's not it's the normal way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull back your slide, lock it open, push this little lever down over here, okay, and then when you pull the slide, you're gonna push down and pull it right off. You don't have to pull the trigger on this. So I have to kind of do it in reverse so because otherwise I won't be able to see it. Unless I turn myself around. Let's see. You can see this here. So I'm gonna pull it open, lock it. Pull down the lever. Okay. There you go. Push down the slide, it comes off. No pulling the trigger. Now, it does have a dual coil, a dual coil recoil spring in it. Right. Now, to put it back on, this is the quirkiness. Now, if you notice this lever, it went back up, right? and I can't get it to come down. So, there is a little trick to it. In order to get that lever down, you actually have to push up on your slide catch and now the little bit comes down. Move your thumb over and hold it. And now you put your slide on. Alright, and you can see. Knock it open, push the lever back. Alright, I hope you're able to see that. So again, in order to put the slide back on, you have to push down push up, I'm sorry, on the slide catch in order to move this lever back down 
and then hold this lever with your finger. Right? That's the only way to really get that slide back on. It's actually in the manual. I know a lot of people don't read the manual, but it is in there. So I figured I'd throw that in there for you. Now, we're going to do some size comparison. <gasps> All right. So anyway, again, this is right now, 10 rounds with the flush mag and the little pink extension, 12 rounds with a little bit bigger extension. So, HK BP9 SK in Midnight Bronze. Beautiful handgun. This takes 10 rounds that they give you. And uh, they give you a little uh, pinky extension on it. It's still 10 rounds. Fantastic handgun. Shoots incredible. I'm, I'm really accurate with this thing. Also comes with uh, luminescent sights, not the trinium sights, but the luminescent sights. So you have to hit them with some light and then they glow. I, um, most people know about the HK BP9, but I just want to show you without going into too much detail of it, the size difference. So let's turn these babies around so you can see it. Line them up. There we go. So there it is. There's the BP9 is 0.6 inches longer in the barrel. Alright, so a little bit over a half an inch longer. And when you look at the grip, you can see it's longer in the grip. Alright, now, if I put the plus two mags, then it'll be 12. Pretty much goes right to the edge of the VP9 SK. It's a hair longer than the VP9 SK with the 12. But again, the barrels are longer on the VP9 SK. And if you want to look at the thickness here, you can see it is about a quarter of an inch thinner than the SIG is. Alright, so that's the size comparison with the HK VP9. Now, if I put the mag in, I actually left the mag on the side and grab it so I can show you. Alright, so this mag is actually hot, so we're not going to rack it. Alright, drop that in. Now, this is the plus two mag, so this actually gives it 12. Now, this is the one I got from HK Parts. Well, it was actually the extension I got from H HK Parts. So now, let's compare. So they're both going to be 12 rounds. right up against each other. Size for size. There you go. You can see the HK is longer. Right in the grip. And if I put them on the table. Stand them up on the mags. You can see it right there. Alright, see the difference? It's basically a finger difference. Alright, so that is the HK. Get the hot mag out. Now this is my Ruger Security 9. Now this is a 4 inch barrel on it. All right. And then this is uh, basically the same size as a Glock 19. Alright, so a lot of people don't know about the Ruger Security 9. Fantastic handgun. 300 bucks, you know, $320, you know, right around that price range. 15 rounds. Alright, and you can still conceal this, and it's actually pretty thin. So let's compare it to the SIG. So thickness wise, the Ruger and the SIG, the Ruger is the hair thicker, all right, now let's go, let's take this 12 round mag out, let's line them up, so you can see, let's get them right there. Now you can see the difference in the Ruger. Big difference. So that's about two fingers difference there. All right, now put the mags in. Empty mag in the Ruger. And again, let's let's say the flush around. Ten rounds, fifteen rounds. Line them up. And again, it's two fingers. 
There you go. Let's do it that way. There's a the difference in the grip. The inverse the HK. I actually like this way better. So you can see it better. There's a the difference with the HK. Let's put the 12 round mag in. Right, let's put the 12 round mag in the SIG. See the difference there. Alright. Now. Now barrel length you can see. Let's put them right there. So again that's the four inch. Good carry gun. Good size in the Ruger. Fantastic gun. I haven't had any issues with this. And again for $320. Fantastic. This is my little baby. This is the Ruger Lightweight Commander, um, 9mm also. You know, I had it Cerakoted, you know, the burnt bronze color. It also had these cuts put in, the lightning cuts on it. So we're going to compare that size-wise. Now this weighs, I think, uh, 29 ounces, where this weighs 18 ounces. Eight rounds. Got a uh, plus one mag in there too. Right, so actually ten rounds now with this mag. This is a Wilson Combat mag. And again, we're not gonna rack it. It's a hot mag. Twelve rounds. So there's your barrel length difference. All right. So did the. 1911 is a four and a quarter inch barrel. All right, and let's go. Let's see, see the grip size difference. Big difference there, right? Again, now that's the 12 round extension magazine in the SIG, and it's the 10 round in there. So I figured I'd give you a little size comparison. This way you know what you're getting. Um, so far, no complaints whatsoever. <clears throat> Again, 200 rounds through it, not one issue, okay? ate everything I, I put into it. Um, real easy to wear, right, to conceal, okay, uh, because it's so small, you barely feel it. Now, I would like to get my hands on a outside the waistband holster for it, you know, something that rides high in the belt that I can conceal. So if anybody's got any suggestions or there's any holster companies out there that would like to, uh, <clears throat> you know, send a holster for me to evaluate. That'd be fantastic, and outside the waistband holster for P365, um, that's concealable. All right. Also, I heard that Sig has uh, some new ammo that just came out for it. It's actually called the 365 ammo, and it's supposed to be a lighter recoil, so you won't have as much snap in it. Right? Being such a small gun, but again, great choice. Hard to get your hands on these days. Um, you're going to pay probably. You're going to pay full MSRP, which is around $5.99, all right, plus taxes and everything else. All right, so uh, what can I say? Please uh, leave some comments, any questions, leave it below. Again, fantastic gun. No issues whatsoever so far. And I notice that some people have issues. I haven't. I can't complain. Actually, the only thing, little quirk also, is the mag release is still a little stiff. Okay, so I'm hoping that'll break in. Sometimes you gotta really push in on it. There you go. Other than that, the gun is fantastic. Uh, would I recommend it for a first time carrier? You know, I, yeah, yeah, I would. But I would definitely say practice because of how small it is. I, I probably recommend for a first time carrier something like this. All right, four inch, this Ruger Security 9, it's cheap enough, um, it shoots great. It's still easy to conceal, right? um, it's a great size for that, and you get a little bit longer barrel, this way you get used to shooting, right? it'll make it a little bit more pleasant to shoot, and a little bit easier. So, uh, you know, I would probably recommend this for your first time shooters out there, 
you know, and conceal carriers, and then step up to something like this, uh, just because it's a little bit snappy. But again, I'll let you know if I ever get my hands on that uh, Sig uh, P365 ammo, you know, if that actually makes a difference in it and how much recoil you feel when you're shooting it. But any questions or comments, leave below. Thank you very much. Hope you liked the video. Have a good day.